Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is game one between Charles playing Tezzeret Control and Ryan playing Callblade. Ryan led with a Glacial Fortress, and then Charles laid down a Dark Slick Shores. Ryan then cast a Preordain and left one card on the top and put the other one on the bottom, then drew a card off the top and played an Island. Charles laid down a Creeping Tar Pit, and then Ryan cast a Stoneforge Mystic and searched for a Mortar Pod. For Charles' next turn, he played a Tumble Magnet, then Ryan laid down an Aired Mesa and attacked with his Mystic for 1, taking Charles to 19. Then post-combat, Ryan laid down a Silvok Life Staff before passing the turn. Charles then used a Contagion Clasp to shrink the Mystic. For Ryan's next turn, he attached his Life Staff to his Mystic and then attacked for another 1, taking Charles down to 18. Charles then laid down a Tectonic Edge and cast a Brittle Effigy. He then attempted to resolve an Etched Champion, however Ryan stopped it with a Mana Leak. In order to pay for the mana leak, Ryan had to sacrifice his Aired Mesa to search for a Plains and go down to 19. Ryan attacked with his Mystic again, taking Charles down to 17. Then for Charles' turn, he cast an Inquisition of Kozilek and forced Ryan to discard his mana leak, and then afterwards he resolved a Tezzeret Agent of Bolus. He then used the Tezzeret to look at the top 5 cards of his library, however there were no artifacts. Ryan attacked with his Mystic again and sent it at Charles' Tezzeret, taking it down to 3 loyalty. He then laid down a Squadron Hawk and searched for one more. On Charles' next turn, he cast a Duress and chose to force Ryan to discard his Jace the Mind Sculptor. He then plussed Tezzeret again and found an etched champion this time. Then he played the champion before passing his turn. Ryan started off by laying down another Aired Mesa. Then during combat, Charles used his Tumble Magnet to tap down Ryan's Squadron Hawk. So he attacked with his Mystic, taking Ryan's Tezzeret back down to 3 loyalty. Then post combat, he resolved a Mortar Pod. Then he cracked his Arid Mesa to search for a Mountain and then cast another Squadron Hawk and searched for one more. For Charles' next turn, he started off by using a Doom Blade to destroy one of Ryan's Squadron Hawks. He then used Tezzeret to search for another artifact and found a Contagion Clasp, which he then used to destroy Ryan's second Squadron Hawk. And then he attacked for 2 with his Etched Champion, taking Ryan down to 16. For Ryan's next turn, he resolved to Jace the Mind Sculptor and used his plus ability to look at the top card of Charles' library, which he decided to keep there. Then after Ryan passed his turn, Charles started off his next turn by playing an Everflowing Chalice for zero. He then animated his Creeping Tar Pit and attacked with the Tar Pit and his Etched Champion for five damage, taking Ryan down to eleven. He then used Tezzeret's ultimate ability to take twelve life from Ryan, giving him the game and taking them to game two.